Concordia women's basketball has become a national powerhouse. They're the defending NAIA Division II champions. They're currently ranked third in the country. And the Bulldogs added again. They're 24-2 so far this season. And as Matt Foster explains, it's a special group of seniors that has been the driving force behind their success. Concordia women's basketball and a championship mentality go hand in hand. It's an unspoken expectation we have to be great and then to live up to the legacy that this program has built. It's always just part of, part of the culture, like it's something we came into. A culture of competitiveness that's cultivated chemistry in the latest bunch of Bulldogs. The combination of our competitiveness and our just love to play together and be around each other, I think those two things kind of work together to help us be successful. The Bulldogs owe a lot of their success to this year's senior class. It's a group that's the winningest in program history. They've won three straight conference and tournament GPAC championships, made three appearances in the NAIA Final Four. They had a runner-up finish in 2018, and of course in 2019 became the first team in program history to hoist that banner and call themselves national champions. It's really impressive what they've been able to accomplish. Um, you know, you might think that there would be a little bit of a letdown uh, after last year, but, but they're very motivated and, and hungry to, to go do it again. Millard West alum and reigning GPAC Player of the Year Philly Lammers has been at the heart of all that hardware, setting program records of her own in points, rebounds, and steals. Every day you just try to get a little bit better, and if you're doing that, focusing on what you can control, like your attitude, your effort, that's probably going to get you in the place that you need to be. And while winning is the goal, leaving a lasting impact on the program is a priority. You want to do well while you're here, but it's also um, you're building a foundation and a legacy that, that carries on year to year. In Seward, Matt Foster, KUTV Newswatch 7 Sports.